Hello my beautiful curly friends and welcome back. I am so excited to do today's talking video. It's going to be very educational. I think it's kind of like a so-so topic that we don't really know why we are possibly doing this thing. I can't wait to get into it, but before I do, it would make my day if you hit that subscribe button right now if you are not subscribed to this channel. And also give this video a thumbs up because I promise you, you're gonna love it. And at the end of this, if you absolutely love it, please share it with some friends. Also comment below. So what we're gonna talk about today is whether to pre-poo or not to pre-poo and when to do any type of poo to your hair. The pre-poo, pooing, all that has been going around in the natural hair community for a while. And I feel like I was definitely very susceptible to it. And I was pre-pooing my hair and not knowing why I was actually doing it. So if you are the same, definitely like this video right now. Now the whole aspect and definition of pre-pooing or pooing is to kind of cleanse your hair before you actually shampoo it is one um, definition or one kind of concept around it. The other is to wash out any product in your hair without actually stripping your hair of its moisture and nutrients that it's gained throughout the week. And that's typically what people understand about pooing and pre-pooing. And I'm here to tell you why pre-pooing and pooing isn't really that necessary for your hair. So I did a lot of research and I was seeing why people were pre-pooing and pooing and things like that. And it was exactly what I thought. Um, so it's, you know, one or the other um, in terms of trying to, you know, kind of pull out all of the buildup in your hair before you shampoo it. So it makes shampooing a lot easier, opening up all the follicles and things like that. Or the second one is really to maintain the moisture throughout the week and prolong washing your hair with shampoo. So um, here was actually my conclusion after doing the research because you already know on a lot of my videos, I talk about product buildup and how that is really the detriment to your hair and your curl definition and you know the, the bounce that you want in your hair and the growth and the shine and all that stuff. Um, a lot of us naturals use too much product on our hair, point blank. We use too much product on a daily basis or even a weekly basis on our hair and what that causes is product to be built up so your scalp health isn't great you know your hair strand health isn't that great and you might not have the um the hair that you want and you just suffer from dryness and breakage and a lack of moisture and that's all because we're suffocating our curls with so much product so when it comes to pre-pooing and pooing in general, I don't suggest it only for certain circumstances, which I'm going to talk about, but I don't suggest it as part of your routine. And the reason being is that you want to wash out the product that you use on your hair on a weekly basis so that your hair can actually breathe. It gets a fresh start. You take out all the debris, all the buildup, all that product, and you let your hair breathe and take in moisture. And again, moisture is water. Water is what's gonna hydrate our hair and not oils and shea butters. I say that in a lot of my videos and um, it's, a, you know, sometimes it's a hard concept to grasp because we have been taught to put a ton of product in our hair because it's dry. And you know, back in the day, they thought the more we put on our hair, the softer it's gonna be. And you know, I will even say that sometimes when I do use certain products, my hair does feel softer, but the minute I wash it out, my hair feels even worse. So a lot of times that is because those products are really masking what's underneath. Okay, so now you know that I actually don't recommend pre-pooing or pooing as a part of your weekly routine. However, there is special circumstances when you should be pre-pooing. The first circumstance is yes, 
If you have product buildup in your hair, if you are suffering from not having moisture or a lack of moisture, a lack of curl definition, and you just seem like you can't get a grip on your hair, a lot of times that just means your hair is not moisturized. If your hair is not moisturized, your curls are not going to show and your hair is gonna be harder to maintain and deal with and easier to break. So if that's the case, I do recommend pre-pooing before you shampoo. So now there's that apple cider vinegar rinse you can do, you can buy an actual pre-poo or you can actually just shampoo your hair twice that is in an essence a pre-poo is getting the first wash in to wash all the product out and then getting a second wash to actually wash your hair strands but if you feel like you have a good grip on your hair and your hair is pretty healthy then honestly you can skip the pre-poo you don't need it i think sometimes you know we do offer array of products a lot of the companies out there and they are useful but less is more. I really, really believe in that. And I think that sometimes we don't need to buy everything on the shelf and try everything. So to be honest, if your hair is in a good state, you don't need to buy a, a separate pre-poo. You can save your money for something else. Now, I wanna talk about when is it good to poo your hair. So pooing your hair would just be washing it with a conditioner and kind of letting the product that you had go out, adding a little bit of extra conditioner in your hair to kind of rehydrate and go throughout the week like that. So um, the reason why I wanted to talk about pooing is it's different from pre-pooing. So pooing is where you are not going to wash your hair at all with shampoo. And so pooing would be acceptable if you like to do your hair once a day. So say I washed it today, which I have, and my hair is fresh, and then tomorrow I wanna redo my hair. So instead of washing it all over with shampoo and really stripping it once again, I'm gonna just poo it, add a little conditioner to it, just to kind of wash out the product that's already in there, and then I'll come out and add more product to my hair. Another way to poo is if you went swimming. If you went swimming and you didn't have time to go in and do your whole weekly routine, a nice pooing and adding conditioner to add a little bit of moisture to your hair and to eliminate the dryness that's gonna occur after being in a pool with chemicals and chlorine and stuff like that, that is another great way to use pooing to your advantage. All right, last but not least, I wanna talk about when not to poo your hair or when not to pre-poo. The only circumstance that I have been able to come up with of when not to do it is really not to do it when it's going to be a substitute for shampooing your hair. We don't want this to be a substitute because we don't want to create product buildup. And pooing your hair or pre-pooing and not actually washing it is going to cause the product buildup. So if you are going to poo your hair, make sure you're at least washing it once a week. And then if you're gonna pre-poo your hair, make sure you still use shampoo. You don't wanna pre-poo and then just go straight into like a conditioner. You wanna make sure you get that good, clean wash every week. All right, so I've talked enough. I hope that this helps. I really hope that you comment below. You let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you agree and you know, a lot of the videos I do, it's not just from my experience. I make sure I do some research. I make sure that I'm giving the best quality advice and education that I can give. And I make sure that I am leading you all in the best way possible because we're all here on a journey and I want to support you as much as possible. So I want you to keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, make sure you're shampooing and not just pooing. All right, I'll see you later.